welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing the $20 makeup swap challenge, challenge swap, whatever, with one of my friends here. Her name is Kelsey from Kelsey's Closet. If you have not heard of her before, I highly recommend that you go check out her channel and subscribe. She's a really great girl. She's a fellow Michigander, although she's, uh, you know, torn from the mitten. She's no longer in the mitten, but you know, we, we're from the same state, so I think we kind of bonded over that. So yeah, definitely go check out her channel. And she approached me with this idea. I'd never heard of it before, um, but basically $20 makeup challenge, except for a swap version. So we bought each other $20 worth of makeup, and we're going to try to um, do a complete makeup look with that. Oh, and one thing is I did mention we're from different states or we live in different states. So we did $20 pre-tax. So, um, I know some people include the tax, but it would be really hard because we have different tax amounts and things like that. So to make it fair, this is all pre-tax $20 or under. We'll see. I swear I have the worst mail carrier in the world because I just want to show you what this box looks like. I did cut it open, but I haven't opened it yet. It's like so smushed. He's so mean to me. He hates me. Um, I actually had to have her address this to my boyfriend because he will send back stuff with my name on it. If it has my business name on it, he'll keep it. But if it has my personal name on it, he'll send it back. I don't understand. It's like he has a vendetta against me and then he just like shoved it in the mailbox. So hopefully everything's okay. So here's a card. Oh shoot. She said she got me a navy blue eyeliner to step out of my comfort zone. Kelsey, I'm just kidding. Just put all of the amounts and stuff like that right here. So that will be helpful. I'll put those in when I actually do the get ready with me portion of this video. And look at the card, it is so cute. It's like a Polaroid, I love that. So, oh, and she wrapped everything so cute. I literally, I took the stuff and like wrapped it loosely in tissue paper and then put it in the box. Like I'm such a jerk. I don't know, I just thought it was cute that way and I thought it would be easier for it to open. But now I feel bad because everything's like wrapped so cute. All right, so first thing I pull out of here is the CoverGirl Ready, Set, Gorgeous foundation. And I think this is like the Katy Perry line or whatever it is. Uh, so that's really exciting because I've heard a lot about this. I've seen a lot of videos and things like that on this. So I've really been wanting to try this. So thank you. The color is Classic Tan and we are very worried about foundation colors. So it looks like it'll um, match. It looks pretty good actually. Next thing I found in here is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer Plus Blush in Dusk Till Dawn. So that is really exciting and um, it looks like it's a combo product which is always nice for these kind of challenge videos. And how cute is that? It has like little palm trees on it. So even if it doesn't work out, it's still really freaking cute. This is the Black Radiance Eye Appeal Lasting Mascara. Um, it looks like it has argan oil in it, it maximizes length and volume, wear time of up to 8 hours, and it's just black. So that's really exciting. I've never tried this brand before. I've seen it in the grocery store before, um, and like Rade Aid and stuff like that, but I've never tried it. So, it's mascara. And then here is the blue eyeliner that she got me. Scary! It's from the same brand, that Black Radiance brand, and it's the Eye Appeal Eyeliner. And it looks like it's one of the, um... I don't know what it's called. It's like a coal eyeliner or something. Oh, it's a retractable eye pencil. So that's exciting. I actually really have been wanting to try a blue eyeliner because I really like how it looks, but I feel like on me it's going to look like really scary. But hey, I'm going to try it. This is a Wet n Wild eyeshadow in the color Nutty. And it's just the single color icon kind. And this is a gorgeous color. This is so pretty. And she said in her note that she has this one too. And yeah, it looks really, really pretty. This is like a good everyday shade. It looks like something that I'd wear all the time. And then there's this Wet n Wild lipstick in the color Just Peachy. And this looks freaking gorgeous. And I've actually heard that this is a dupe for the Lime Crime Coquette lipstick, which I, it was like on my wish list. One of my friends on YouTube actually just tweeted me and we were talking about how we want Lime Crime Coquette. So yes, I'm really excited to try that. And I love these lipsticks. I've used these before, this, um, you know, this, what do you call it? Like the style or whatever of lipstick, the, what is the word? What am I looking for? The line of lipsticks. I have a red one and they're really good quality. So that is it for the unboxing. So now I'm going to take off all my makeup and actually do this challenge. 
We'll see how this goes. I'm scared. All right, so it is the next day, and I am barefaced, getting my brushes, and um, yeah, let's put on some $20 makeup. So I'm gonna start with the eye part, and I'm just taking this little Wet n Wild shadow. And I'm just gonna take this big fluffy brush and just kind of sweep it over my lids. And I'm just gonna kind of try to pack it and like concentrate it in the crease. One thing that I do when I only work with one color is just kind of like try to get it settled in the crease area, if that makes sense, and like pack it in there and then just gently sweep over the eyelid. So. so there's that. This is a pretty color. Um, it's just a like neutral kind of everyday color. So I do like that. Then I'm going to go in with the eyeliner, which is blue, which scares the mess out of me. All right. Okay, so this is <laughs> kind of not working out. Um, I'm going to try to, actually it doesn't look that bad, but up close, it's kind of like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like very waxy, so it's not really like going on very well. Okay, so I think that's the best that I'm going to get it. I'll come up closer. Oh my gosh, my eyebrows are so bad. I need to get them done ignore that but yeah I think that's the best I'm gonna get it um it's just not very pigmented and like not super smooth but I mean I don't I actually don't mind the color like I don't think it's it's not like an electric blue it's like a navy so it is kind of nice it's different from what I normally go for but I don't mind it so now I'm gonna try the mascara it's the black radiance eye appeal lasting mascara. Oh, I like this brush. It's like a hard, um, it has like a hard plastic brush, which I really like. Those are like my favorite kinds. Okay, so that is the first coat and the top layer, or the top top lashes. I do, I think it's pretty good, a pretty good mascara. Um, it did a pretty good job of separating, which is like one of my biggest issues. And I think my lashes look pretty long. They don't look super, super voluminous, but I mean, this is definitely not the worst mascara I've ever tried. So I do like that. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna do the bottom lashes or not. I don't know yet. Because I usually use a waterproof because um, it sinks into the fine lines, but I'll try it after I put on my foundation. Okay, so there's my eyes. So now I'm just going to go in with my foundation. And I can't use any other products, so I'm not going to spray my brush or anything. I think what I'll do is just apply some of this CoverGirl foundation to the back of my hand and dab it on with my brush, which is the e.l.f. powder brush, I believe. This color does seem pretty good. I know we were both really worried about like what colors to get each other because we're so different skin tones and because we've actually never met in real life. So I think that makes it harder too because I mean, you obviously try to film yourself and accurately depict your skin tone on camera, but just depending on lighting and stuff, it can be different. So yeah, I think this is actually a good color for me. And I like how it feels, like, it smells a little bit like um, sunscreen, but like I actually really like that scent, so I don't know if there is SPF in it. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more kind of underneath my eyes and stuff since I don't have a concealer. Okay, so there is the foundation. I actually, I think I like this foundation. Obviously, I'm gonna have to wear it and, you know, see, um... How it wears throughout the day and stuff like that and I'll probably try it with like a setting spray and a primer and everything you know on a different occasion but I think it looks nice I think it looks like a really natural finish and um, at the same time it just does just kind of even everything out so 
I am so far impressed with that. So the last two items are just the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Blush. So I'm just going to kind of concentrate it on the bronzer side first. Girl knows I need bronzer. Oh my gosh, I think I got blush in here too. That looks pink. Oopsies. <laughs> All right, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. All right, let's see. Only bronzer. I don't know, I think the bronzer is actually just kind of pink toned now that I, cause I literally just got bronzer there, but it looks like I have blush on. All right, well that's, you know, you can't win at everything. All right, whatever. Let's just stop with the bronzer now. Yeah, I think some bronzers are more pinky, some are more orangey. I know a lot of people don't like the orangey, but I do, because I'm naturally kind of yellow toned anyway. Oh yeah, we'll just swirl that around. Maybe I can add, uh, whatever, okay. Then I'm just gonna go in with the blush. See, I feel like the bronzer was more pink than the blush is. Am I crazy? Maybe I just can't see. I'm trying out these brushes from um, Crown Brush, by the way. That's what I'm using right now. I don't know how I feel about them. The foundation brush sheds a lot. Um, the other ones, like this one is called the Angle, Bl Angle Blush Brush. I do think I like this one. I don't know, am I crazy or is this not showing up that much? I feel like, look at the bronzer. I feel like the bronzer looks more blushy than the blush. So maybe I'll put bronzer on my cheeks. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, I mean, I don't think that looks horrible. Obviously, maybe I would add some powder or something like that to make that less pink, but actually, I think that looks pretty good. All right, the last thing is just the lipstick, and this is the Wet n Wild um, I don't know what these lipsticks are called. Just Wet n Wild lipstick, I guess, in Just Peachy. Someone told me that this is a dupe for Coquette <clears throat> by Lime Crime, so let's see. And maybe I'll do an Is It a Dupe video, because I do really want Coquette by Lime Crime. So maybe I'll compare them in a future video. I did put lip balm on, by the way. So I don't know if that's cheating or not, but. So I just kind of blended this out with my finger. Cause I know these lipsticks, they're, they're like, I don't know if you'd consider them matte, but I don't know. They can go on a little bit like almost chalky and thick. So I like to kind of blend it out. And I think that looks pretty good. So that's the completed look. I mean, I think I hate to, I'm sorry to be like looking in the viewfinder, but I'm just checking out what it looks like. I don't think this is a horrible look. I think the lip color is like almost a little bit too light for me. Um, but I'm probably going to just add like a little bit of a darker gloss over it. And I think it'll look really nice. And then, um, I mean, I really liked the foundation, the eyeliner. I wasn't a huge fan of the mascara. I did like the eyeshadow. I did like, um, I might go in like for today and just add like a darker um, kind of uh, crease color just for a little bit more dimension. And then the bronzer and blush, um, I was kind of like on the fence about. I think if you have more pinky undertones, that might be a good product for you, but I'm a little bit more yellowy orange. So, but I mean, I don't think it looks horrible. Like I would leave the house looking like this for sure. So I think she did a great job picking out products for me, especially with never having seen my skin tone in real life and all that stuff. So um, I'm really excited about the foundation, actually. I'm gonna continue to wear it throughout the day. And um, if you guys would like me to do like a review on it, I know it's a newer product. So let me know and I will do that for you guys. So yeah, make sure to check out her video. I'm gonna link it down below once it's live and um, see what I got her. I'm really excited to see how those products worked out for her. I'm kind of nervous now, but. I don't know. I think it'll be good. I hope. I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, link down below and uh, link down below to all my other channels, social media and all that stuff as well. Make sure to check those out and I will see you guys on Sunday for my next video. All right. Bye.